Hello everybody, Epic Mewtwo here. We are back with another Dokkan Battle video. A, I know we're recording when it's light out. That's why all this, all this is coming through the wall right here. Looks like I'm ascending, but we're back with the Summon Simulator today. If you guys remember, I did do that video where I summoned on the Gogeta and Vegito banner in an attempt to see, will you pull Gogeta or Vegito? And we're going to do the same thing with the upcoming UI Goku. Now, unfortunately, UI Goku uh, A, isn't released right now, and B, his data download isn't even now. So, we can't obviously summon on his exact banner, but what we do know is that the banner is going to be an LR banner, and at the moment we are assuming with the utmost confidence that it is going to be a standard LR banner, just like, you know, most new LRs, right? They haven't announced anything for like a top banner. It's probably not going to be double rates. If it is, I will be honestly surprised. So here is what we're going to do. We are going to simulate summoning for UI Goku by using the Nappa banner. Again, of course, since we don't have access to his banner, we kind of have to use a proxy. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to summon on this Nappa banner a couple of times. We're going to see how many stones it takes to get one. And we're going to see how many stones it takes to get a rainbow version of this guy. So let's just start going, bro. This is literally the same concept as the last video. Essentially, just summoning on an LR banner, okay? Obviously, oh, that tripped me up. I thought that was Nappa. Obviously, if it is Nappa, right, then that's going to... Oh, uh, excuse me, sir. I will donate later. No worry. Then that will represent us pulling him... Of course, if we pull any LRs as well in this whole summoning session, that is definitely something to take into consideration. Now, this video is not only to sort of see what happens when we pull this much on a LR banner. Right now, we are getting absolutely shafted. This is awful. We pulled a couple of good unfeatured SSRs, actually, but um, a lot of them uh, kind of stinky, bro. Bro, that was two different freezes. That's weird. But no, I wanted to do this simply because... I wanted to kind of give you an example as to what could happen, right, when it comes to summoning on this banner. Now, I know a lot of people have been... Oh, okay, Majima Jita, is that our first LR? I think that is. Um, I want to do this, yeah. Let's see, where is Majima Jita? Um, oh yeah, he would be down here. That is literally the first LR that we pulled in 1,650 stones. That's a yikes. This already isn't looking very good. Okay, so there's a one copy of Nappa. So we got one copy of Nappa in 1,700 stones. That is disgusting. What I'm trying to sort of exemplify for you with this is... Oh, Bojack. Okay, that's cool. When you're summoning on an LR banner, right? Okay, another copy of Nappa. That's good. We're 2,050 stones now. When you're summoning on an LR banner like this, you're not always guaranteed to get something good, and you have less chance of getting something good. Obviously, even on a Dokkan Fest banner, you can still get shafted, but there's a lot less chance of that. Okay, LR Trunks, nice. And there's a lot higher chance of pulling something that you want, because obviously all the featured units on the banner are Dokkan Fest, and in the case of the Anniversary banners, right? Three of the LRs, ooh, Goku Black, that's nice, are three of the LRs. Yeah, three of the featured units are LR units, right? So, what I'm sort of trying to exemplify is that maybe you shouldn't go so hard on this banner, just because, purely from the standpoint of the math, right? Not good. Um, Killing Khalifa, by the way, um, is a, another LR pull under our belt, that's nice. Okay, so that is Nappa number... Three? Let's scroll down. Where did we pull Nappa before? Um, oh, wow. Actually, he was a while ago. Majin Vegeta. I thought we pulled him quickly after that. Does it filter them differently? Yeah, here we go. Oh, okay. Because I think, yeah, these are all feature units. That's why. So, three Nappas so far in 3,500 stones. That is a yikes, my guy. Okay. I mean, to be honest, after we pulled the first one, 
Um, we have been doing pretty good in pulling them. As weird as that sounds, considering the, the stone count is just, you know, keeps going up and up and up. But with this, right, I would honestly say that the amount of copies that we've pulled... Okay, well, maybe not now. <laughs> but the amount of copies that we pulled, those two extra afterward were pretty good. LR, Goku, and Frieza. Very, very nice. Okay. I like it. I'm a fan. What else do we have here? That was like three Gokus in that one multi. How did we get two rare Videls there, too? Another Bojack! That's crazy, because that's just random chance. I will admit, I don't know, the only thing about summoning on this banner to kind of simulate UI Goku, right, is that all these Nappa SRs, especially this one, really looks like the LR. It's literally just like his body is contorted a different way. LR Androids, okay, that's a very good pull. Bardock, very nice. We'll have to count up how many LRs we got in this entire summoning session as well. Keep in mind, um, on the other video, ooh, baby, okay. Keep in mind on the other video, we used, like, what, over 10,000 stones, and I believe we rainbowed both, I think? Okay, another Nappa, so now we need one more copy. Beautiful. If you want to go check that video out, it'll be at the end of this video, but this is already really bad, I'm not gonna lie, that was a GT Trio, considering that I believe we rainbowed both in that video, if memory serves, and we have not pulled the last copy in under 5,000 cells. Look at that! <laughs> That's a silly multi right there. Bro, the Goof Squad coming in. Aw, oh, that int. That's what I'm saying, too. Like, as much as I love pulling LRs and pulling four LRs because it's so exhilarating, right? Some of these multis, bro, are just so bad. Like, there's so many good featured, or er, good featured units. So many good unfeatured units in the unfeatured pool nowadays. But there's still so much garbage. A lot of those units, I'm sure, will eventually get easy A's. Um, and then they will, you know, return to their once former glory. But at the moment, man, not so good. Not so good. This is also, um, at the moment, not really... Ooh, LR Rosé. Okay. This is also not necessarily taking into account... Ooh, LR Goku was there. Oh, another LR Goku. Bruh, that was two LRs in a row. Um, this is also not really taking into consideration, um, what do you call it, um, what am I trying to say, the other featured units on the banner, because obviously, again, like I was saying with, oh, look at all those Nappas, with like 5th year anniversary, right, you'll have all those, there's another Nappa, you'll have all those Dokkan Fest featured, but on here, it may be anything, right, in terms of, um, like featured, un or featured units who are in the unfeatured pool, I assume it'll probably be Tournament of Power themed, though we did just get that recent, um, what was it, the LR Goku and Frieza banner. I'm kind of hoping they don't make it similar to that since we just got that, but whatever. Okay, so we use 8,000 stones on the dot, and we got five copies of LR Nappa, okay? Let's rack up the other LR so we got how many? So we have five Nappas. Um, let's see, we had, we're gonna have to just kind of eyeball it here. Look at, we only pulled one Chow Man. It's always so funny to me. Okay, one Majin Vegeta, I'll go back to what I was gonna say, it's funny. One Majin Vegeta, two Bojacks, so that's three. Um, Nail is pretty good, but not Nellar. Four with Trunks, five with Goku Black, um, six with Kalen Khalifla. Let's see here. Seven with Go Frieza. Uh, eight with Baby. Nine, ten with the Gokus. Uh, Eleven with the Trio. Uh, I know there was another one here. Twelve, thirteen. Okay, so thirteen SSRs, um, or SSRs, LRs. And five copies of Nappa. Very interesting. So again, I mean, the one thing that I can kind of give you as a takeaway of this, I think we are going to do one more round through this, like, real quick. I want to see just how many it will take to pull in another summoning session, right? Maybe we'll go to a different LR banner for the sake of it. But even though you did get all of the rest of those LRs, right? Keep in mind, again, that's 8,000 stones. And realistically, 13 in only that many is really not a lot that's like you know obviously 13 multis <laughs> out of <laughs> out of this many that you did that's insane right 
And again, even though a lot of this unfeatured pool stuff is good, a lot of it is, you know, kind of next to unusable. And especially if you've been playing for the game for a while, or you've been playing the game for a while, right? Even if you don't have these cards, or they're dues for you, they're definitely not as worth as the 5th anniversary could be. And keep in mind, um, since this is going to be a global banner, most likely there will not be discounts on it because it is just simply an LR banner. Um, is this the... Okay, well, I guess that, <laughs> I guess that banner doesn't exist. Let me find... Uh, where is... This is Goku and Frieza, is it not? Uh-oh. Well, I guess we don't know. It's not here. Let me refresh the page. I wanted to take a look at um, Goku and Freeze's banner, too, because then that'll sort of tell us. I don't know why it's not popping up. There we go. Okay, I don't know why the other one wasn't coming up. Anyway, though, because um, on this banner, right, there's a bunch of featured Tournament of Power units. So I really do wonder, you know, what they are going to do for the UI Goku banner. I assume Kefla... Um, Kale and Khalifla will probably be featured on there. Okay, there's a baby again. We've been pulling a lot. But I don't know who else they're going to put on there. I mean, maybe they will just say screw it and then put it on there. Though, I am thinking in JP brain right now that this just went up, um, on JP. So, I guess it doesn't really affect Global A. Hey, there's a Rosé. But I suppose if they do put this banner on, um, JP. Ooh, there's one that's finally not in the last slot. If they do put the UI Goku banner on JP soon, right, they are going to have to um, switch it up a little bit. There is an LR cell there, by the way. I just want to speed through just to see one copy. There is an LR Broly. We're actually doing a... Bro, LR Chunks! We're doing a lot better on this banner than we were on the other one. I just want to get one. There's another LR... Another LR Broly! Okay, see, here's the difference, right? So look at this. It's all up to chance. So we use 1,750 stones, okay? We're only able to cop one copy of, you know, UI Goku in this case, which is what we're trying to simulate. But not only did we get him in that many, we got, so including him, one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, well, eight, Right, we'll do it that way. Nine, ten LRs, right? And we only got 13 in 8,000 in the other simulation that we just did. And this is kind of just under 2K. And we got almost ish the same amount, definitely with a lot less stones. So this video is just kind of a thought experiment as a little bit of a cautionary tale to you. If you want to take your chance on the UI Goku banner, be my guest, personally, especially if you're a free-to-play player, I would recommend saving for the 5th anniversary. Throw one multi on the banner, maybe two. If you've got a lot of stones, maybe three. But unless you're a big boy whale, I would not recommend going hard on the banner. Um, but again, it is your call. I just wanted to kind of give you this sort of presentation to show you that it can go either way. It can go very, very bad or very, very good. So, take your pick, right? I will catch you guys in the next one. Have a good two out. Peace.